we wanted to do something fun, right? Because yeah. we, we wanted to see how well you can remember so many of the songs that you've done, right? Now, we're, we're going to give you a lyric from a song. Right. You need to tell us the name of the song and if you've got a fun fact about either the artist or the making of that song. Love it. Okay, Let's do it. you ready, Sean? Go ahead. I'm going to try and say it to confuse you. Hit me like a ray of sun burning through my darkest night. <laughs> You're the only one that I want. Think I'm addicted to your light. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's Beyonce, Halo. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> that's an e that's low hanging fruit. That's an easy one. <laughs> what was the what was the what was the fun fact about that song? Uh, fun fact, that? it's the only time in my career that um, well, two things. One, it's the only time in my career where an artist called me and and more or less said, Would would you write me a song? And, wow. and that's how that happened. Um, and called me, said, Here's the deal, I'm in a relationship. I love the guy. It, I, it means the world and I need you to just something the least cheesy way of saying that to somebody and I didn't know at the time it was Jay-Z because it hadn't gone public so it was like 2008, 2009 wow. um, that's fa fun fact number one number two it only got written because I injured myself on tour I ruptured my Achilles playing right. basketball and um I was I was off on my butt for a month. I was forbidden from working, from doing anything. And I had a three hour window to where my wife left the apartment. I called my friend Evan Bogart. I said, let's write a song for Beyonce. We wrote it and recorded it in less than three hours. And that was what? it. Yeah. That is mad to even <clears throat> comprehend and then think how big that song is. And oh, and the opening of the song. What? Yeah. Like the angel kind of sound yeah. was an accident. The only <laughs> reason that song happened is because when I turned the keyboard on, the first so the first sound that I played was that sound. And I was like, what's that? I didn't, I had never heard that sound on that keyboard before. I was like, oh, it sounds like angels. And literally before we wrote the song, I said, so what if we do a song that's like angel, you're my angel? No. Oh, oh, halo. And that's yeah. literally how it happened. And it's because that opening, ah, like a, Amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. That right. is amazing. Are you ready for your next one? Let's go. Bless your soul. You've got your head in the clouds. <laughs> you made a fool out of me. Yeah, that's Adele. Uh, rumor has it. Yes, yes, indeed. So, fun fact. Um, uh, we met after she won the Grammy. We met in an elevator after she won the Grammys uh, for Best New Artist, right? And I was already obsessed with her because I, I pay attention to what's happening in the UK more than the average American would. So I knew that she was already big here. And I'd already worked with James Morrison, so I was like dead dead set on working with her. With her. Mm. So uh, first song we did was Turning Tables. We did that in London. And Turning Tables uh, came about. I was tr trying to... I was learning Chasing Pavements, and it was so, such a complicated chord whatever it's a very compli it's a beautifully complicated song and it's incredible so I, said, I was just going to do something simple so I started playing that piano thing we do turning tables that day and then we had a session two weeks later she walked in um, she was really not in a good mood she was like in a foul mood oh, smoking no. a cigarette in the studio like uh. just walked in she, I, can, you know, I don't know if we're going to do a song today yeah. I'm not in a mood I'm not in a mood <laughs> right I know that that's what you're expecting but I'm yeah. not in the mood <laughs> Is that okay? And, yeah, um, that's good. and um, and I said, well, "What's going?" On? I was like, "Oh shit, okay, we can't do, we, mm. you know." All right, what's going on? She said, "Well, so I've talked to my friends in Tottenham, and they're <laughs> saying, Adele, you, you know, you've been with this person, you've been with that person, you've been doing this, you've been doing that. Rumor has it you've done this. Rumor has it you've that. Rumor." Has it. And she just yeah. kept saying, "Rumor has it," and I was like, "Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to force a song today, but if we do a song today, can it be called Rumor Has It?" And she paused for a minute. And she smiled. She goes. Do you know what? I kind of like that. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. And she's like, How, what do you hear? Yeah. And so the way that she and I worked a lot is, because I worked on 21 and then 25, um, I'll do the piano stuff or guitar, whatever we're doing. And I said, I want it to be a tempo record because I had heard someone like you mm. and I was like, there's no, I'm a competitive person. And, yeah. and it triggered me. And she played it for me and I said, okay, we're not going to do a ballad because I'm not beating, we're not going to beat that today, mm. but we could do a tempo record. And she didn't have much tempo on that album. She no. had Rolling in the Deep, right? Yeah. And so I started stomping and playing the guitar thing and um, she said, well, what do you hear? And I said, well, I'll do some melodies and you, you pencil in the lyrics more or less. And, and, uh, and I just start, you know, she, she ain't real. You know, and just started kind of using her own words. She would show me what she'd written. She ain't gonna be able to love you like I will. Yeah. And like, and the whole thing came together again, kind of like Halo. It was about three hours. Wow. You are just blowing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. Yeah. One more. yeah. Lights go down. <laughs> the, the night is calling to me. Yeah. I hear voices singing songs in the street. Oh my God. 
I lights mean, go down. I mean, you've got a weird accent. Wait, there. I tried. I tried really hard. Yeah. To lights go down. Do you want me to give it a go? Go on. Lights go down. Okay, yeah, this is this. Is, <laughs> I feel no, like you guys just picked me, yeah. this one out of thin air. Yeah, this is this is One Direction uh, right now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the funny story about that. Um, is I Simon Cowell had called me to do something for One Direction. They had already had that first big album. Yeah. And um and I was touring in the UK with One Republic at the time and I had a day off in London and so what could I do to get you to convince you to go to Manchester? The band's going to be playing the arena or whatever it was in Manchester, probably stadium at that point. And um I said okay. So I get up there and I was operating, I was exhausted. I I, I was going on about 4 hours of sleep. Mm. I hadn't no idea for a song, and it's the morning of the session. The night before, I wrote a song with one of their guys, and we did it. It was like the worst song ever. <laughs> yeah. It'll never see the light of day. And I, I, I had, I think I was going to meet them at 1 p.m., 1300, as you guys say. Yeah. And um, I'm up at like 8 a.m., and I have nothing. I have absolutely <sighs> nothing. And I turn on the session, and I just start playing some stuff and wrote that song Um pretty much just myself in the room between like 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. So by the time I got to them, yeah, I actually had, I had the song. And I was, I was finishing lyrics on the cab ride to the venue <laughs> and stalling them. I was stalling Harry and everybody. Do you guys, don't you think you should get some coffee first? Yeah. You know what? Go, so go get some coffee. You know, maybe hit the loo before you, yeah. you know, I would, anything to buy an extra 10 minutes because I hadn't written it. And then I finished the lyrics as they were all coming through and then and then got in with Zane and was floored by that guy's voice wow. absolutely floored but I was like okay this guy's nuts wow yeah and and so and then I guess cats out of the bag but I've been working with Zane a bunch for the past yeah because he's got new well. stuff coming out yeah. yeah yeah oh I didn't know that you were working with him that's wicked there we go there Amazing. we go hey look right we, we could honestly talk for hours we with could you. I mean it, it's unbelievable well I'll just have to come back and we'll yeah. have to yeah. do it again yeah. guys you'll have to come back Damn it, let's exactly go. Um, well look thank you so much uh, for, for chatting to us. I really want to, one day we'll do an interview in the Airstream. Yeah. Road trip. We'll take the show to the US. Road yeah. show. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, manifesting that for us. Until then, uh, congratulations on Runaway. Congratulations on the tour. And of course, a very happy birthday. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Ryan Tedder. Yeah.